distance learning has, has changed a lot um, over the past so many years. Um, it originally started off being more kind of like your telecourses and more correspondence courses and things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but now it's evolved quite a bit and most of the distance learning classes now are taught online. Um, and um, they're really interactive between the faculty member and uh, the students, so it's, it's come a long way. It's, it's students that are already on campus. Um, they need to take an extra class or they're, um, they're in studio, so they're DAP students that are in studio all day and they can't make it to um, attend other classes during studio time. Um, so they're actually using these distance learning class, distance learning classes um, and more or less an online um, a way to fulfill some of their requirements. I would say that there are definite advantages um, from the professor's standpoint also in terms of distance learning. Um, for instance, uh, faculty, that, you know, one of the largest complaints about faculty is that they're always off running off doing their research and they're never around for the students. Um, well, if you uh, have a distance learning class, then you can do your research and still engage with the students. I've done some research for our department um, in distance learning, and um, and I, I find I do find it to be an effective uh, mode of communication uh, for the students. Um, I, I think one of our basic principles too of, of communication is to know your audience, um, and if we're looking at the students who are engaging in distance learning um, and thinking about you know newer and younger and younger students as they're coming on board, um, we're talking about kind of the difference between a digital native, which is a, a an individual that was born after 1990 um, versus a digital immigrant like myself. Um, so somebody who was born before 1990. And if we think about all the different types of technologies, knowing your audience, knowing um, that they're engaged in digital technologies, um, then as a faculty member we need to try to incorporate digital technologies um, and as, uh, as a, a teaching method and as a, as a mode of communication for our students.